हेलो फ्रेंड्स हेयर वी हैव इन्वायरमेंटल साइंस आई सी एस सी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एग्जामिनेशन स्पेसिमेन क्वेश्चन पेपर नो लेटेस्ट सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन पेपर कमिंग टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ टेक्निक फॉर कंट्रोलिंग सॉइल इरोजन सो फर्स्ट लेटेस्ट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज सॉइल इरोजन सो सॉइल इरोजन इज द रिमूवल ऑफ द टॉप फर्टाइल लेयर ऑफ द सॉइल ड्यू टू द एजेंट्स लाइक रेन विंड ह्यूमन एक्टिविटीज लाइक डिफॉरेस्टेशन रॉन्ग एग्रीकल्चरल प्रैक्टिस डेवलपमेंटल एक्टिविटीज इन कॉन्टूअर प्लॉइंग टेक्निक द फार्मिंग इज डन इन अ सर्कुलर मैनर ऑन हिल स्लोप बिगिनिंग फ्रॉम द आउटर एज so it prevents the soil being washed away from rain water so this is a very good uh, uh, technique to prevent soil erosion and uh, the second option reforestation is uh, the process of restoring and recreating areas of woodland or forest that may have existed uh, long ago but uh, were deforested or otherwise removed at some point in the past so this uh, tree planting or uh, which we can say that reforestation is uh, one of the technique to prevent soil erosion so here we can see that option a is correct as well as option b is correct now coming to the energy plantation energy plantation is the practice of harvesting some selected species of crops trees or shrubs that are harvestable in a short period of time use of inorganic fertilizers is very important in uh, improving plant growth so here the options a is correct and b is correct so here we can consider option a and b both so these are the techniques for controlling soil erosion question number 2 the device which reduces air pollution from vehicle is and the correct option is catalytic converter so catalytic converter is a device that uses a catalyst to convert three harmful compounds in car exhaust into harmless compounds the three harmful compounds are hydrocarbons carbon monoxide and nitrogen oxide so correct option is catalytic converter question number 3 the objective of community forestry is and the answer is planting of trees by villagers on common lands and share the products so community forestry programs aim to provide for the entire community rather than for an individual so in these programs the government has the responsibility of providing seeds seedlings and fertilizers next question in situ conservation is a means and uh, the correct option is to protect and restore species in national parks and sanctuaries so in situ conservation means uh, that uh, conservation of wildlife in its natural surroundings or in natural habitat so it ensures protection of the ecosystem of the original habitat and uh, includes protected areas like uh, national parks wildlife sanctuaries and biosphere reserves next question is the statistical study of human population with reference to size density and other statistics is known as and the correct answer is demography population ratios are used to describe the degree of balance between two elements of the population uh, for example males versus females children versus women of reproductive age and so on census includes the total process of collecting compiling analyzing evaluating publishing the statistical data regarding the population and housing and their geographical location anthropology is the study of the origin and uh, development of human societies and culture next question is uh, uh, choose the correct pair from the following here uh, four pairs are given तरुण भारत संघ एंड गजेंद्र सिंह रालेगांव सिद्धि अन्ना हजारे चिपको मूवमेंट दुर्गा भाभी एंड सुखो माजरी अन्ना हजारे सो द करेक्ट सीक्वेंस इज रालेगांव सिद्धि एंड अन्ना हजारे ऑप्शन बी करेक्ट पेयर फॉर तरुण भारत संघ इज राजेंद्र सिंह चिपको मूवमेंट इज एसोसिएटेड विद सुंदरलाल बहुगुड़ा एंड सुखो माजरी इज अ मॉडल ऑफ 
community participatory management next question which form of electricity generation causes the most environmental damage and the options are nuclear energy solar energy thermal energy from coal and geothermal energy and the correct answer is thermal energy from coal so coal is by far the worst emitter followed by natural gas with solar wind and nuclear all low carbon hydropower biomass geothermal and ocean power may generally be low carbon so we can say that fossil fuels like coal oil they do substantially more harm than renewable energy sources next question is the organisms responsible for composting and breaking down of dead organic matter are and the options are earthworms microorganisms scavengers and tapeworms so the correct answer is microorganisms composting is a technique of converting household waste or agricultural waste into compost so it is a waste disposal technique in which uh, uh, biodegradable waste is decomposed by microorganisms and converted into manure in the next question there is a figure given alongside and uh, which refers to the scheme of and the options are economic development social life development environmental conservation and sustainable development let us see the diagram given here we can see there is a venn diagram where three components are clearly visible environment economic and social component so the sustainable development has three dimensions or components ecological that is environment economical and social so sustainable development is the way to reach development without causing any harm or damage to the environment the option d is correct sustainable development so here it is a scheme of sustainable development next question based on assertion and reason now there is an assertion Three quarters of the world population is inadequately fed, so there is hunger and malnutrition in the developing countries. And the reason for this assertion, the factors of food shortage in the developing countries are poverty, unsuccessful agriculture, and unequal distribution in food supply. So we have to choose the correct answer where both are correct. assertion and reason or both are incorrect or one is correct or one is incorrect assertion statement says that 3 quarters of the world population is inadequately fed and majority of these live in the developing countries this uh, statement is correct and it is obvious that there is a hunger and malnutrition and uh, the reason are the same which is given in the reason statement so both are true option d in the next question two statements are given first is the multinational companies can be controlled by ngos to take responsibility of the environmental issues and second statement ngos are profitable organizations statement b says that ngos are profitable organizations which is uh, wrong because ngos are non profit uh, organization and uh, filling the gap where governments will not or cannot function so ngos have played a major role in pushing for sustainable development at the international level so the statement b is incorrect let us see the statement a the multinational companies can be controlled by ngos to take responsibility of the environmental issues now here they are talking about the environmental issues so the multinational brands they have been actually susceptible they are very prone to pressure from activist and taking responsibility for environmental and social affairs so some ngos typically take up causes related to the environment such as climate change air pollution deforestation ozone layer depletion waste management biodiversity and uh, land use energy conservation and other matters so we can say that uh, statement a is correct because multinational companies can be controlled by to some extent 
by ngos to take responsibilities particularly of the environmental issues option b statement a is correct and b is incorrect next question match column 1 with column 2 and choose the correct option from those given below so here are two columns in column 1 montreal protocol cites gef and kyoto protocol is given so we have to match with column 2 so montreal protocol is correctly matched with control of cfcs to prevent ozone depletion that is d cites is correctly matched with conservation of endangered species gef matched with focuses on international waters and its diversion and kyoto protocol is correctly matched with check on greenhouse gases emission option c is correct now in the next question the following questions question 13 to question 16 are based on the figure given below answer these questions by choosing the correct option so you can see here is a figure shows a structure from which a fuel is generated so first we have to name this structure and the options the correct option is biogas so here we can see the biogas plant which has a dome like structure built with bricks a slurry of cow dung and water is made in the mixing tank from where it is fed into the digester here you can see the digester and this digester is a sealed chamber in which there is no oxygen that is anaerobic microorganisms that do not require oxygen decompose or break down complex compound of the cow dung slurry so it takes days for the decomposition process to be complete and generate gases the biogas is stored in the gas tank above the digester here you can see the gas tank where the biogas is stored and from which they are drawn through pipes for use biogas is a mixture of methane carbon dioxide hydrogen and hydrogen sulfide the major constituent of biogas is methane biogas is produced by the anaerobic degradation of animal waste like cow dung plant waste in the presence of water now answer the question uh, and uh, this uh, the correct answer here is the biogas and uh, in the next question uh, what is the main component of this gas that is biogas this is that is generated from the above structure and the correct answer is methane next question how is this fuel obtained it is obtained by and the correct answer is option b by decomposition of agricultural waste cow dung and leaves question number 16 how is the manure produced utilized here you can see that manure is also produced so it is utilized and the correct answer is option d it is used as fertilizer to make the soil rich with nutrients